Hey guys, today I'm talking about a little more of a serious topic because I'm talking about losing friends. You know those people that you run into and they're all like, Hey, what's new? And you're all like, I, it's, I don't even know where to start. It's been so long. Oh my god, I miss you so much. Well, why do you never answer my texts or call me? And even worse is when one of those people it used to be one of your best friends. I'm not trying to bash anyone on the internet. That's not the point of this. I just think it's something that's relatable to a lot of people and I feel like if I am able to talk about it, then it helps me get closure. So my friend Nick and I were very close around the time that he and his boyfriend David broke up. If you've seen the earlier videos, you've seen Nick and I doing a bunch of stuff together. In season two, he and David broke up and I was the only one that he had. He texted me at 2 in the morning, and I drove out to McDonald's to meet him because it was the only thing that was open. So we were sitting there in the middle of the night eating french fries and talking, and I stayed and supported him because I cared about him. After that, we did everything together. We went shopping, we hung out, we went on road trips together, and then after a while, things started to change. He met this group of new guys that I called the Debbies, mostly because they all sort of looked the same and dressed the same, and I kind of thought they were a bit snobby at first, but we remained friends, because you can have more than one group of friends, that's fine. So then Nick won these Britney Spears tickets off the radio, and if anyone knows me, I am one of the biggest Britney fans, at least that Nick knows, so I was kind of hoping that he might ask me. The first person he asked was Merwin, and that's fine, because they were going to school together. And then he asked one of the Debbies. And then he asked another one of the Debbies who also couldn't go, and then finally the last one he asked could go. And that felt like a bit of a knife in the gut. But Nick and I had a trip to Vancouver planned, so I was kind of hoping that that would be good bonding time for us and we could sort of reset things back to the way they were before. So I'm going to Vancouver this weekend with Nick to visit Will. This is two weeks before... oops. <laughs> this is two weeks before Pride, so... I just decided to dye my hair darker and change it up a little bit, and I think it worked out kind of digging the dark. We went clubbing at this gay club. This is the lineup! Oh, I'm gonna go down. For John Chance! This is the lineup for John Chance! <laughs> so listen, here's the deal. Um, Boys in blue shirts dance away from Chris. All these cute guys in blue shirts, like, completely separate people, they weren't like coordinated or anything. They were, they came up and danced with me, and then they all ditched me. No, they danced with me, and then they dance away. Actually, they dance with, and then we're like, oh, he's pretty, and then he disappears. And then they disappear. You know what? I'm starting to find out that I like ginger smart. You've been screwed over by gingers twice. It's true. I would stick to the blondes and the brunettes. Ginger's a whole... After Britney Spears, I was throwing off on it, but first of all, I was in Oasis throwing off into a glass. You've seen Britney and I haven't, but it's like I have no desire to see her now because she's like, she's so, she just seems so tired now. Nick is a drunk ass. Well, I'd probably be making out with someone in the back alley. <laughs> or I could do a repeat of New Year's and I could be blowing someone in the bathroom. It's gonna be a line, isn't it? Oh, shit. Colors of the world, spice, spice up, up your life. life. Every boy and every girl, spice up your life. For the people of the world, spice up your life. Ah. Uh, Why do I always need to pee? Because you've been drinking. It's true. Hello, viewers of my life on a record, which is Chris's life on a record, but I am just a character in that <laughs> life. That's it. Right. We're, we're going to bed. Are we checking out? This was night one of two nights. The boys are. If you're watching, message us. Because boys in blue don't like me. <laughs> Every boy in blue that Chris danced with. Danced there was away. two. There was two. There was three. This conversation is over. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. We love Bye. you. Uh, we went shopping at the mall. Oh. Why is it so glittery? Oh, well, that's more you. What is it? Oh, that's cute. Those are cute. Like, you know, aren't they cool? Why are we in here? I got lost downtown again in the middle of the night, which seems to always happen every time I go to Vancouver. Why is it that every time I'm fucking in Vancouver, I get fucking lost as shit? West Hastings is not a good place. Fuck yeah! Some guy just made weird noises at me. It's okay, I'll find the way out. Oh my god. I don't know why I want to move here. Because every time I come here, I get fucking lost. And then we went to Ikea and goofed around. Oh, there's no water. Did you forget to pay the bill again? <laughs> Damn you, Ikea, hey? Honey, did you forget to pay the water bill again? The fridge isn't even on. Oh my god, that's a mouth. <laughs> Our life is really in a state of disrepair. <laughs> Susie's Jason? been murdered. 
Damn you, Ikea Heights. <laughs> the neighbors are watching us again. Really? That's a snowstorm. It's a blizzard out there. It's like oh solid my. white. At least our pets are okay. <laughs> Why did you stitch our horse to the table? <gasps> they cut off the clock. <laughs> they cut off our time. Ring, ring, ring. Jason, how do you know? I've almost cracked the case. You almost cracked the code? <laughs> to finding out who committed the murders. I'm admiring this beautiful New York view out my window. That's it. funny, me too. <laughs> who could have killed Mrs. Peacock? Mm. Nick bought a picture that's too big for his car. And now, we have no way to get it home. On the bright side, we got hot dogs. What are you gonna do? Yep. I'm going that way. I think you're screwed, buddy. So, we didn't get the picture. <laughs> we suck at leaving Vancouver. But all in all, the trip was a huge success, and I felt like Nick and I had bonded, and I felt like the old Nick was back. Unfortunately, that was the last time we would be together in that capacity. Um, over the next few months, Nick and his friends would have a bunch of parties together. Side note, I named them the Debbies. They don't know that. Um, I named them that because when I first met them, they all sort of looked the same and had the same haircut and were wearing the same clothes, so I called them the Debbies, and pretty soon the whole town was calling them the Debbies, and they started calling themselves the Debbies, but they still, to this day, did not know who started that name, and it was me. So, unless they're watching this right now... Hey guys. So they had these parties and Nick invited everyone we knew except for me. He told me that it was because Merwin didn't want me there because of our history, uh, but when I talked to Merwin he said that was completely false and untrue. So I asked Nick again, and he said that the Debbies didn't want me there because they didn't like me. Um, okay. So I did a little digging, and I was talking to one of the Debbies, and he said that they thought I was nice, and he even invited me to their next party. So it was becoming pretty clear that Nick was the one who didn't want me around, not anybody else. And that hurt. But he was still nice to my face, and I didn't want to cause problems. So the next house party I had, I decided to invite all the Debbies to try and bridge the friend group and so that we could all be friends. It's the night of the party, so um, everyone will be arriving in about two hours. Merwin, Nick, all of them, and then all of the Debbies. Oh, and I've decided that I'm just gonna, I'm trying to be nice. I'm gonna try and be nice when people are being stupid. I'm gonna keep the sarcastic comments down. Everybody's here now? Uh, hey. We're gonna take a trip. Have you seen the uh, green giant? Just like timing and. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No loyalty. I'm not, I'm not shit-talking, I'm just... So, from then on, things were never the same between me and Nick. I thought about talking to Nick, but it seemed useless to try, because he would never admit anything was wrong. That's just not his style. Some people drift, but some people you don't expect it from. And some people don't just drift, they cut you out. And it seems like he doesn't want to create tension with anyone who might become a useful connection to have in the future. Instead, I decided to keep the peace and do to him what I felt like he'd done to me. Keep him as a backup friend. So hopefully you have good people in your life who will stick around and be there for you in the long run. Try to know that if you know deep down you haven't done anything wrong to that person, that it's you shouldn't take it personally and you deserve good people in your life. So that's my story for today, and um, I'll see you guys next time, and have a good one. See ya.